Today I will be demonstrating WebChat for Link. With WebChat, you will have an embedded HTML link on your website. Now that's going to be similar to the one that we have on ours. Uh, this could say live chat, chat with an agent, chat now. For us, we just have this as chat. And for the sake of this demo, I'm not going to click on this specific link uh, because I want to demo in a little more detail with you uh, using my lab URL. So first off, when the web visitor clicks on to your website and they choose that link to chat with an agent, they are brought to this chat request form. They will fill this form out and enter a little bit of information about themselves. So first, last name, email address, phone number. Um, then they will choose the department from the drop-down menu that they would like to chat with. Now the availability of this department is completely based upon the agent or agent's status for a specific group that was created for this department. Uh, for instance, the agent's groups are created using our web-based admin portal. For our demo system that we use, we have one group per salesperson listed here. So we ended up using just their name. Uh, this could look like uh, technical support, registration department, sales department, and etc. You'll notice that I am the only member of my group, whereas typically each group would contain multiple link users. Uh, once you have created the agents in your group, the settings are automatically saved back to the web chat SQL database. Uh, let's go and fill out the form. Enter in the phone number. And again, choose what department to chat with. Now these departments can be a registration department, mortgage department, technical support, customer service, or whatever department might best fit your company. But for the sake of the demo, I'm just choosing myself. And here we are. Okay, so say that one or more agents in the group are available to chat. Uh, their status is set to available. This department becomes available for chat. There we are. So the web visitor would click on the chat now button and the chat request is now sent to the agent. Uh, the visitor will see searching for an agent to chat with and they will be in what we call a virtual lobby until the agent accepts the link toast in order for them to admit them into a chat conversation. So let's go ahead and admit the visitor. And here we are. Now I have two chat conversations on one screen. The agent is on the right and the web visitor is on the left. You'll notice right off the bat that uh, there's an automated welcome note that was created when the conversation connected. Uh, this can be customized per group. Now, since we have the conversation connected, the visitor can now send a message to the agent. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll notice over here on the agent side, they can see that the visitor is typing a message. So we'll go ahead and send the visitor's message and it is received over here on the agent side and now the agent can reply. And again, you can see that the agent is typing on the visitor side and it was received. Um, at any point during this conversation, uh, the agent has the ability of quickly replying to a common question. That common question could be hours of operation. Um, the agent would open up the extension application in their link client. And underneath the responses tab, quickly double click on the response and it automatically sends it to the visitor. Now the agent has a couple of different escalation options that they could use. Uh, for instance, 
um, if you click on the contact form, this will show all of the information uh, that was provided at the beginning of this conversation on that chat request form. Say that the visitor was not able to get everything that he needed from the chat conversation, but would like to speak to the agent live. He could ask the agent if they could give him a call. The agent would pull up this form underneath the contact tab and uh, simply click on the call phone button, and this will call the number that was provided on that form. The other escalation option that the agent has is being able to um, invite them into a link meeting where they can share desktop or whiteboard, um, be able to use the full link experience for maybe a video call. In order to do that, the agent would send an invite to the link meeting by clicking on this button here, and it automatically generates the link URL for that invite. So then the web visitor would click on that, they would sign through the web link client, and they would have the full link experience using desktop share and video conferencing. Lastly, the web visitor has the ability to send himself an email conversation history. So here's the form for that. It's automatically pre-filled and with information again given on that form, the visitor will just type in history conversation. And be able to send it off. Now they'll receive a notification that says email sent. And this is what that will look like. Here is the email conversation that the visitor emailed to himself. So this concludes our web chat for link demo. If you are interested in this product or have any questions, feel free to visit our website at www.enablingtechcorp.com forward slash linkapps.aspx.